when when people say they ground, there's a common there's a common assertion that grounding protects you against EMFs, which is partially true. It's not fully true. So grounding when you when you connect to the earth, and Richard Feynman talked about this too. He's a pretty well renowned physicist. I don't know if you if you know who that is, but um, he in the in the physics world, he's kind of he's kind of the uh, the Einstein of the second half of the twentieth century. Mm. But he said that when you're when you're grounded to the earth, you essentially become an extension of the earth's electric field. And what that's going to do is it's going to redirect all of these electric fields that you're exposed to. And it's going to redirect them away from your body. So um, electric fields are, are always going to be present, um, even if devices aren't turned on, appliances aren't turned on. It's it's the mere voltage difference and something being plugged into the electrical grid that's going to create electric fields. And it's when you turn those things on, then, then you start to create magnetic fields. So it's it's the movement of current. That's what creates a magnetic field. And these magnetic fields, by themselves can induce currents within us. That's in physics, that's Faraday's law of induction. So when we ground, we can repel electric fields, but the magnetic field, we can't repel those unless we have very specific types of materials. So it's, it's kind of like, so I don't, I don't really know if it's, if it's fully negating the effects of emfs because even even though it's it's repelling the electric fields those magnetic fields are always going to be present and they're going to be inducing currents in and on us and so it's but um i guess something is better than nothing um but the claim that uh grounding reduces the the effects of electromagnetic fields is is partially true it's not it's not fully true so i think that's important for people to understand